Hey guys, welcome back. This is another updated video for the OnePlus 3 and this is a new update to the Oxygenus Open Beta 6 and uh, it has got a new update. Previous was 6 and it has not moved to the 7 but still you can get the 3.5.5 build if you want the, that one here but uh, we'll talk about the new features and changes that are done here. So this is the official post for the OnePlus forum. You can check out there and I'll put some of the links below where you can exactly understand and what is that open beta because some of them you might have confused so to give you guys a better idea and if you have on convertible you can get the official oneplus app so this is right here so once you get that just inside the search box type the beta and you will get a second link oxygen OS beta program explained so this is a long post here so make sure to read it properly to get understand it properly so just i'm explaining a figure here so close beta open beta and the official release so we are on the official open beta which receives uh, two bills each month so and technically this is a pre-version before to the official release that means uh, we should be going and uh, getting this uh, update official very soon maybe uh, by this month in when the when oxygen os is going to start the nougat program for as a community bill. so anyway guys this is about the initial preview and we'll talk about the changes and all things here so the first change has added audio tuner that you can get that uh, going inside the setting sound and you can see inside the audio setting so to get that feature enabled you need to first insert a headphone jack on your phone so once you do that so you can see this is got enabled now you got this feature audio switch you have some equalizer setting preset condition you can do say as and going back here some other options like uh, earphones type general enhancement uh, they have mentioned actually bullet uh, headphones there for the oneplus 3 and they have the jbl e plus gold bullet too so according to that it will configure the settings and all so if you guys are really peculiar about the settings and all you definitely you should try that feature it's added background app bridging mechanism so this is actually one of the best feature i really like in this build so you can get that feature inside the battery and just go click here this three dot and uh, you will see this aggressive dose and app hibernet so you might have heard about some app called the dose inside the play store i even did a review of that app for the lollipop because uh, there's a dose feature was in the marshmallow but they have enabled it for aggressive dose so for example you can see when this is enabled dose will operate more aggressively background apps will automatically enter hibernation so suppose you might have noticed that uh, some programs keep on running and you're not able to disable that say amazon kindle Google Play games, you are getting a lot of notifications on service server X Fall Extreme because I do get annoyed most of the times here. So you can use this feature and can disable that app completely, which you think you don't want that. So those are, are never optimized for, the, for this purpose here. So these things you can actually disable. You can see not optimized. These are by default optimized. So once you do that, these are apps are not going to optimize anytime here, and you will get some more battery backups. So try not to do that for all apps especially do for few apps which you think you're not necessary but you might need it for the future purpose otherwise it may you know do some kind of uh, performance issues your app might not work as expected and the next change said redesign of uh, uh, accent color so i did not notice much here going inside display you can see there is a new accent color so it was pretty much same here i don't know but maybe some internal rgb is changes not much of that all right and next thing is redesign of the clock ui see is the clock and you can see get inside here you can see there is a new one here you can add many cities here you can and this is actually a new feature and i was not able to see that on a previous build and the next feature is updated google security patch for the october so this is actually the latest one here and uh, you're going to get this here about phone you can see this is a november security patch level so it looks like an android security patch has been updated for this build too so moving to the next chain uh, there's an issue when you play game for example you're playing x fall stream in the horizontal mode and when you try to exit the game uh, you may see some black splash screen so that thing has been fixed and the next change is fixed launcher related crashes so uh, it's optimization done for the launcher so if you might have experienced some crashing issues so that has been gone and there's a new fixed dial pad crash too so when you try to dial some number sometimes it is found that dollar app has been crashed but uh, i did try to do some made some call but uh, it was not crashing at all so looks like she hasn't fixed and the next change is increased system stability so it's overall performance improvement and the last being general bug fixes so this is all the changes guys and one thing i want to show you guys here the geek benchmark test results too so here's the one geek benchmark 
so his scores are pretty impressive so i don't have right now 3.5.5 score but i do have 3.2.7 so you can see on the screen here this is a 3.2.7 and this is 3.5.5 open beta 7 so definitely scores have improved and talking about the into benchmark scores too so you can see uh, you got here this uh, S7 cross 1.5k so it's really huge compared to the what you see in the 3.2.7 which is even less than 1.4k so uh, it's a great score and in terms of performance and I did see that it's working pretty much great here now important point is regarding the battery so guys in, in case anyone is saying just after 3 to 4 hours of you know using and they're saying the battery is not good so that is not true and you know it takes at least 2 to 3 complete battery discharge of a complete you know all the apps get adjust itself and it takes a bit of time it's kind of uh, uh, you know always optimizing things that uh, at least one to two complete to charge so i have charged my phone 100 percent i started uh, before this demo i made my phone to complete 100 percent then we started as you can see and we started the demo at 98 percentage and almost we have filmed the video of right now it is seven minutes and 36 seconds so just two percent battery discharge in seven hours so i'm still checking on that and uh, stay tuned guys uh, i will let you guys know after just exactly two days whether you should be updating your phone as a daily driver for this build or not but anyway looks to me is uh, smooth as of now i didn't see any crash here so that's it guys pretty much for this build here and yeah download size is uh, 1.4 gigabytes and i installed that by downloading the gif file and the version 3.0.2 hyphen 19 you can use that and super as you i have flashed this sr1 2.76 so i will put both the links in the description from where you can download and install that there should not be any issues in installation there because already we have covered a lot of it so this is startup i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching